All right, everybody, surprise, surprise. We're gonna use the layout collection. I have not gotten another shipment of this, and I don't know if I was supposed to have by now or not, but it sure seems like it's been a while. I don't know if they canceled it. I can't. It seems like I've been getting so many notifications lately that I just honestly don't know. Can't keep track, you know, of my auto ships. Um, I don't know. So, and I don't know which ones we've done. I know we did these ones. We did that one. Um, I don't know if we did that one. I think we have done. Let me see. We did this one because of the different shapes and Oh, this is cute. Hmm. This is cute also, and I don't do, I do not do these kind of cards. But what I can do is four by six. This, this way tenfold. I can do that. I have this here. Let's see what we have, what we need, what we don't have. Let's figure it out. It's supposed to, everything's supposed to be in here. So, let's see. I got a green card instead of that color. They have a paper. with white yellow flowers kind of a more of a blue background hmm i could have used it on something else i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> it's very possible that i already used it on something else. Maybe this is it. I don't think so. Sometimes the colors just don't look right on here. So, I was going to do it just like they had it. But that's obviously not going to work. So, I guess I used this paper. And I got a green card anyways. So, that'll work. And then we need, um, here's what I can do. Look and see if I got any pieces in here. Yeah, yep, but that's not the right one, right? No. There's more here. I don't know. This is where it's gonna end up being, I have a feeling. That's pink. Let's see. There it is. And then so this can go back. And then we have black and blue. Black and blue. So let's see what we've got in here. Linen. in black and blue. Black and blue. It's like a periwinkle color. I'm going to use it. Because it looks like it's going to perfectly match that. No, it's more blue than that. Okay, let's see.
Mm. That periwinkle almost does look better. Not the purple, the periwinkle. Well, why does that look purple now? All right, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. This is going to be the one. I'm guessing, unless there's one in here. Why do I have two? Did I get two? I did get two. Oh my goodness, I I am so sorry. That was so wrong of me, calling them out for something that they didn't do. Shame, shame, shame on me. Oh, that's so bad. So, so bad. I don't know. Honestly. You might not be able to see the difference. There is a difference. And then there is... Where's that other paper I had? Gems. This is kind of, you know, kind of does work there. So I might use this just cause it's, it works. I don't know what it looks like on the, on the screen there, but it works. And I have the green card. So with the green card, the purple is going to go better than the blue. So just so you, you can see, there's green and purple. And there's green and blue. Green and purple are somehow related on the color wheels. Contrasting colors. I don't know exactly what, but so we've got that and that, and I'll have to get some black, and then we need the stamp. Let me see. I don't know about dyes in here and that. Here's the ribbon. Embossing folders, where are in the book, right? I think. Stumps and dies are in the book, I believe. I keep forgetting it's been so long since I've used it. And I said we were going to do it regular. And... Hmm. Okay, the birdhouse, right? Isn't that what we were doing? Okay, so we're gonna have to take one of these dies because that's what they used. Let me come back and look, cause I'm not real, real sure. I know this was part of it, but I don't remember where exactly if that fell on the inside. Or, no, that wasn't the birdhouse. We're looking at stacked cups. Okay. Stacked cups. Not the birdhouse, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the birdhouse anyways. So, 
and it's like this, and that's not gonna fit. So I guess I'm not gonna do the birdhouse anyways. If I wanna do that now, I usually do my own thing anyways, but it's just stacked cups gonna fit. Oh yeah, just, but that's too tall. So, I grab these stacked cups. Mmm. There we go. All right. These and these. What else did this call for? If anything. Well, they use a lot of circles on these. It was like somebody said, oh, we have circles. We use circles, so let me find this. Stacked cups. They also have a little circle, a little bitty circle. And then um, this. Yeah. Ours isn't going to be exactly the same. We're going to have to make adjustments because because I'm not. In a slim line, right? I'm in a four by six. I don't really do slim lines. I don't know why I should probably do slim lines, but no, yeah, I really don't. So I need some black paper and I know what did I do with that black pad? Ooh, that's not what I needed. I mean, here it is. I knew it was right here somewhere, so this works. Okay, so this needs to be, this needs to be just under the four by six. You know what, I need it to be under. So I'm just gonna bring it to that next form. By six. Then I need the black to be, hmm. I want a decent one, but I don't want too much of one. So let's go. Just under the four and three quarters. Three and three quarters. And then five and three quarters. Let's check that out. See there? And then this, and that black is just um, very tiny. So we're gonna go three and a half. By four and a half. 
four and a half, five and a half. And this should conclude the matting and layering for this. It should, that doesn't mean it does, um, but it should. Never count on anything. Uh-oh. See how things get lost? I know, how do I get that out of there? It doesn't want to come out. There we go. But if I hadn't heard that and I kept going, it dropped somewhere and, you know. You just got to be prepared for that. Now, I believe all your instructions are on the back. You know, they had a line of orange going down. I didn't do that. I didn't do the line of orange. And that looks like a very important thing. So, we'll have to bring that back and get some of that orange. But right now, let me go ahead and get these done. Okay. Line it up as the best I can and then come in and move it since we can move the diamond press glue a little bit. Okay. Now when you see a car like this, the thing to remember is this stuff is stuck back behind. I'll show you just one minute. Let me get this on. And then we'll discuss. If you're new, you need to understand when you look at these pictures. When you look at these pictures and you see this stuff, this is tucked underneath. This is probably not. This is paper and you can cut it at the edge and it should be just fine. But the ribbon is gonna be underneath of it. So let me get the orange paper. I just wanna explain so you understand because if you try to put that orange paper in it being paper and then fold it back here and here, well, actually they have it underneath this paper here. That's not, it's not gonna um, look that good. It's gonna be kind of bulky and all of that and, and you can get a good enough cut that you don't need to do that. So it's orange here. It's kind of a yellowy orange. I'm going to use it. I like the colors match, but they're not like perfect. So, you know, just 
enough that you may want to pull out of your own stash instead. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to do theirs. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, theirs is probably thinner than mine, so I'm going to still do like inch and a half. I'm going to, is what I'm going to do. I don't know what they, they've done, and I'm not looking. I'm doing my own thing. Okay, and then from here to here is where I want it. So I need to take from there to there. I gotta open it. To, I don't know, I mean, I could measure it on here, but I'm gonna have to open it anyways. So I'm gonna take from the pattern paper to the edge of the pattern paper. <laughs> so it's five and a half inches. Or I can go to the one just below, between a half and three quarters. That's what I'm gonna do. The one that's right between there. And then if I need to trim some off, it's very easy to trim it off. Because I wasn't real, real sure. Ugh. What the heck? What did I do? What did I cut it out? Yeah, see, still too long. There we go. From one end to another. See, that's where they cut that little bit off because I could check it. Because I didn't go right in and cut it off right away. Okay, so this is here. And we're just going to glue that down. What I didn't do was check the ribbon soon enough, because if you look, they got their ribbon behind the black before the purple. I don't. And it's too late to add it. Right, it's glued down now, it's too late to add it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to string it up over that. So I'm gonna get my ribbon. Honestly, that's going to be probably the, well, I better wait. Let me look at this because I'm, I'm a little worried about having room for all this stuff. Okay. So let me grab some white paper here. White paper, white paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this or cut it out. That is not big enough. a mess. I've been trying to pump out videos for y'all, so it's a little bit messy. New new marquee. This is the one I'm going to stamp on. Okay. Beautiful. Love. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
lovely. That's the one I'm going to stamp on. And then I need to do one for the sentiment. Looks like they used pattern paper. Where's the other die I had up here? die. No, oh, here it is. I need some kind of paper for this, but I think what I'm going to look for is just the purple. I'm not big there. Just the purple. I think I'm not having that dot because I think with the size of my um, card, that's going to just put too much. And that's the one thing I can eliminate easily. So we'll have this and then this. And let me grab, just grab some inks. I don't know <coughs> what color I want to use. Maybe not. This is not what I wanted. Let me do. Uh, alcohol proof in the pebble. Probably got my thing upside down, but I'm not worried about that. Right now, I want to get the card done. <coughs> hmm. It really doesn't look dark enough. Oh, I went way too far to the top. It is not centered. And look at that, it's stamped beautiful. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna go ahead. You know it's you know it's me that did that, not the not the set, not the instructions, not the nothing that was my mix mess up. My mess up. So blame it on me. Okay, and I'm going to do, they did blue. I'm not going to do blue. I'm going to do these because I have these here. <laughs> and so those are, these are the colors I'm going to use. Ugh. I should have just come in and colored them. Instead of thinking I was going to shade and stuff.
avoid it. Do not go together at all. Where is that other? Didn't I have two brown grays? I don't see where it went, so we're just gonna fake it. <laughs> All right. It was like it's too early in the morning to be making that squeaky noise. Don't make that squeaky noise, right, baby? Don't make that squeaky noise. I can't even tell honestly what that is. I know there's leaves there. Bet the leaves are gonna have to be red or pink too because that's all I got right here. Yeah. All right, let's just do it. Now, they use the same color, so I'm gonna use the same color. A good thing to do is not let it get too busy. So do I want to cross them or just come down? Mine is a little bit shorter. My card is not as much as theirs. So what I'm going to do here is come in with this this is not this is just to hold it back here right now now do I want the other one with it do I want to cross it I think it's too short to toss to do that so I'm just gonna leave a single strand and I still got this and this on here and the sentiment does that look off it kind of does okay so maybe I will do that crossing thing. All right. Uh, I 
I don't know. It doesn't want to hold it. It doesn't want to work. Did I run out? Maybe. Okay, and then this one we go like this. So. You just want it to hold it down. It doesn't. It's just a temporary hold down too. Because <laughs> all going to be glued to the card. Just like that. So, that comes off. There we go. This will go here and here. See, I think if I put that circle, it would have just been crowding too much stuff on. Where did I put the arrow? Here it is. I knew I just had it. So then we have the arrow. So the arrow might be too long, but <coughs> it's working. I'm going to just to do this and I'm just centering it and then this and it all gets glued. I mean, I suppose I'm not being fair <laughs> by not following their instructions. So maybe next time I'll actually follow their instructions for you. But it's a cute little layout. But I do like to show you usually different sizes or just changing something up. This time I really only changed it up because I just don't usually do slimline. I don't know why. I mean, business size envelope. I mean, everything about them is just super easy. Um, but I don't. So maybe that's just something. I need to start doing them. All right, and these go back in my collection box. And that goes back in my collection box. And I need to get these all put away. And I wanna make sure that I get everything where it needs to be. And um, because with these, if you lose a piece, you can substitute it with something else, but it's usually not the same, right? That's why we always want to finish our collections and we get upset when something happens and we can't. Okay. And the stamps. The cups. All right, there we go. 
All right, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I hope you join me again and everybody have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.